The FIM International Six Days of Enduro got underway for the seventh time in France, with temperatures quickly rising and creating a physically demanding start to the week. Riders from four classes prepared for a staggered departure from Brive la Gaillarde, three different nations defending their titles in the World Trophy categories. <laughs> The first course of over 200 kilometers in length runs the eastern loop of the region and is tackled by the riders on each of the first two days. The biggest news of the opening day in the World Trophy was the elimination of the USA from the defense of their title. A fall for Tad Duval in the opening special and his subsequent withdrawal through a wrist injury means that America's remaining trio are only now competing for individual glory. Taylor Robert topped their timesheets, fastest in the enduro test and second fastest overall. 21 minutes of penalties for Giacomo Redondi leave Italy down in 14th position and they will now be in recovery mode. A real disappointment for them with all of their riders on the pace and Davide Guarneri standing out as high as fourth in the individual standings. The top four teams end the opening day, the most tightly packed group in the fight for the podium positions. Spain over two minutes clear of their nearest rivals, but well back from the leaders. Josep Garcia reprised his role as the top Spanish performer, but a series of errors and falls left him out of the top ten individually. After their 2016 disappointment, Australia will have been relieved to complete five specials without losing any of their representatives, but they failed to find the outright pace to sit any higher than third position. Daniel Milner topped their timesheets in sixth overall, but a fall in the second test stopped him from making further progress individually. Finland marks their return to the World Trophy with a consistent performance that leaves them a highly creditable second place. The day's surprise merchants, the Finns offered a solid through the order result, headed by Eero Remes, who improved as the day went on to sit eighth. A dominant opening day gives France a near two minute lead, with three of their four riders in the top ten individually. Loic Larrieur was their slowest representative, but still found pace enough to finish fastest in the final cross test, and his three teammates each topped their respective classes. Christophe Nambertin was fastest in two of the five tests and leads the overall by over six seconds. We have four French riders in the top six in the scratch, so that's great for the team. But these days there's no joker, so everyone has to get to the finish. We're in the battle at the front, so we have to be careful to separate the individual wars and the team's fight. In fact, we have to finish each day, get the right results, then on Wednesday and Thursday the terrain will be to our liking. A slow start for reigning world number two side Great Britain leaves them at seventh. Portugal the best of the rest behind the breakaway lead quartet. France's much changed junior outfit sits third after the opening day in 2017 and ahead of the USA who got off to a surprisingly subdued start. Hugo Blanjou was fastest for the home trio and third best of the junior trophy riders individually. An outstanding individual performance from Davide Sareca made the difference for Italy, with the top four teams separated by less than a minute in a typically close-fought junior trophy contest. Sweden's junior title defence got off to a strong start as they topped the standings on the opening day. An excellent individual performance from Albin Ellison, balancing out the efforts of Davide Sareca for the Italians behind. And with both of his teammates running faster than Sareca's compatriots, Sweden have amassed a fragile 28 second lead early in the competition. It's been quite good for me. I finished second overall in the first test today and I'm really happy about that. I've been running quite solidly, but on the enduro test I caught five or six riders and lost a bit too much time. The rest of the tests were okay though and with the dust it was more or less the same for everybody. The Junior World Trophy gets off to a similar start to the 2016 equivalent, 
with an underwhelming start for the USA and Sweden attempting to break away at the front. The Women's World Trophy has very quickly developed into another straight shootout between Australia and Spain, but this time it's the women from down under who are on the back foot. Tyler Jones was again their top performer and she finished fastest in the final test but was a distant runner-up to Spain's Laia Sanz. With Australia and Spain's bottom pair balancing one another out, performances of the top rider from either side made the difference on the opening day. So with Laia Sanz 43 seconds clear of Tyler Jones, she can take personal credit for Spain's day one advantage of 42 seconds. I'm surprised to have started as well as we have, but it's only the first day. Of course, it's great to start with such an advantage. I'm very happy with the team's hard work with Maria and Gabby, and I'm pleased to be in front in the individual as well. We'll try to continue building this advantage, but it's a good way to start. Brandy Richards was the standout star for the USA, who already appear embroiled in a separate fight with France over third, well back from Spain and Australia.